kick it off with the zucchinis. Got some uh, red capsicum. What you're really looking for is to take into consideration how long each ingredient takes to cook and, and cut them into that shape accordingly. So ratatouille is like a, a vegetable stew. However, we're gonna adopt a more modern approach to it. Eggplant, just some baby ones. And then finally, we've got some little heirloom variety tomatoes. So I normally start in a dry pan just to get some color onto the zucchini and also the eggplant. Really changes the flavor. Just adding a little bit of seasoning and once, as you can see, I've got the caramelization, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. Give them a little shake and a toss. Look, you know, really nice gloss. Really nice finish there. They're ready to enter the stew. So we'll keep the process rolling. I'm gonna add some red pepper or red capsicum and some nice red onion into that. Once again, a little bit more seasoning. So I'm just gonna add some oil to this. Once again, just a light pot. Caramelize the cut side of the tomatoes. We're only gonna take 30 seconds and then we're gonna tip that into the pot as well. So we're gonna cook that ratatouille out for about five to 10 minutes, uh, just so it's softened. Uh, and then we're gonna add our fresh herbs to that. So we've got a beautiful salmon. Uh, just picked that up from the markets this morning. Absolutely stunning fish. This is probably about uh, three and a half to four kilo, which is a good size. Easily do a nice barbecue with it or to eight people. Really important to talk to your fishmonger. We've really got this one scaled, got it gutted as well. Otherwise you're in for a bit of a mess in the kitchen. So we wanna start by removing the head. We're going to run the knife just along the actual spine of the fish itself. Easy to do with the back of the fish orientated towards you. I'm gonna make an incision and actually remove the head completely. Important to come at an angle so that you preserve a lot of the, the fish and you're not wasting any. So I can feel a little click there where I've gone through the spine. I'm gonna repeat that state on the other side of the fish there. Just a little bit of elbow grease to get through and you can remove the head completely. So flipping the fish back over, we're looking for this spine there. I'm going to run my knife along that backbone and remove that whole side just in one foul swoop using a sawing action. You should be able to just flip that off like that. So what we're going to do now is remove the, the rib cage, which we've gone through using an angled knife. Just start to run it against until you pick up those bones and then using a scooping motion just start to lift that up and with a couple of cuts just remove that whole section like that so that's the belly flap uh, with some bones in it and that'd be great for a, a, a stock or a or some sort of soup if you run your fingers along here you can still feel a few bones now, important to use uh, fish tweezers or just any normal tweezers will be fine. And you just start to remove those, those bones. So just picking up the bones with your, with your finger, just using a bit of touch. And then I find it quite easy to have a pot of water just off to the side or a ramekin and they will release from your tweezers quite easily. So we'll just clean up the, the edges of this fillet. Now I'm going to carve off some, some portions. I like to make little score marks just so the heat can penetrate through the skin. Important to have a sharp knife. So just seasoning the skin of the salmon just to help us achieve a crispy skin 
and uh, improve its eating quality. Just lay away from you so the oil doesn't splash up. Just snap some of the, the hot cooking oil over the top just to finish the process. Just gonna tear this bread into the pan just for a nice crisp element to the dish. Just tearing it, it's nice and rustic. This is an old slant on a panzanella salad. And that's cooking in the juices that the salmon also cooked in. We'll just tear some English spinach and we'll throw that in the pan. A little bit of olive oil. Really quickly wilt that. And so we're ready to plate up. Just spoon out some of that ratatouille. It's got these beautiful bits of salmon. Nice bit of sauteed spinach. And we've got that really crunchy texture of that beautiful sourdough bread. And then just a little bit of olive oil to finish. So there you go, the finished dish. You got pan seared salmon with some stewed ratatouille and some sauteed spinach. Mm -hmm.